So look out, Joey Chestnut. A new hot dog eating champion is chopping your way. And now to Sally Field in Galesburg, where a new housing development is going up tonight. Thanks, Duran. We're here at First Lutheran Church, where over 60 youth are participating in an event known as Shantytown. This is the second year that First Lutheran Church of Galesburg, Illinois, has hosted this event. Let's take a closer look at what this event is all about. Now, is it true that you aren't allowed to have electronics at this event? Oh, man! Oh, isn't it hard for teenagers to go 30 minutes without electronics? How do you go an entire night without them? Well, to be honest, this is very difficult. We're too busy having fun and interacting with all the participants in various games and activities. Which I'm even going to build a handicap ramp. Besides, this is to raise awareness for the homeless, so it's nice to see what it's actually like. Well, that sounds very nice. So what exactly is Shantytown? We come to the church and use cardboard boxes and duct tape to build a home for the night. Whatever we make is what we sleep in, so it's important to make it well. It's not just about building houses, cardboard houses, for one night, but building permanent homes in Knox County. Last week on our hidden camera, we stalked the youth as they found different ways to raise funds for this event benefiting Habitat for Humanity. Here's our secret footage. Thanks, Grandma, for pledging for Shantytown. I will write you down for $10. That will really help us raise funds for Habitat for Humanity in Knox County. See you later. Bye. Hi, I'm Anna, and the youth group for my church is participating in Shantytown, and we're collecting donations for Habitat for Humanity. I've heard about Habitat for Humanity, but what's Shantytown, young? Shantytown is when we live in a cardboard house for the night with lots of church youth groups from Galesburg experiencing how the homeless feel every day. That's why I'm going door to door to raise awareness and to get donations. How much does it cost? We're happy to take any amount of money that you're willing to donate. All the money raised will go to Habitat for Humanity to build decent, affordable housing so people can own their own home. Well, here you are then, $5. Thank you. That sounds like a really good thing you're doing here. Good luck with that cardboard house you build. Thanks. I just hope it stays standing on my These are only two examples of the ways that youth are getting their minimum of $25 in pledges to participate. Some of it might be Facebook friends to sponsor them. Others ask friends and family, neighbors, or members of their church to each get $5. Did you find it difficult to raise $25 in pledges? No, actually. Once I asked people and told them what it was about, I was able to get even more than $25. The more you raise, the more you can help people. It's really kind of exciting. There you have it, Duran. It's easy, fun, and exciting to be part of Shantytown and make a difference. If you're just joining us, we have been following an interesting event called Shantytown taking place on the 25th and 26th of July at First Lutheran Church. Youth ages 14 to 20 from area churches in Galesburg will spend the night in cardboard boxes. They will experience what it's like to be homeless to raise money for Habitat for Humanity. What kind of weather are we looking at then, Chase? Well, Duran, we're looking at starry skies and a full moon. Mild winds will be knocking any cardboard houses down. It will be a clear night in Shanty Town. This has been Chase Wind for WWJD Channel 3. Thanks, Chase. Now on location at Shantytown with our field reporter, Sally Field. Thanks, Duran. We're on location with Ben there and Don that. Ben, what was the best thing about Shantytown last year? It was a good cause, and we raised a lot of money for Habitat for Humanity. It was inspirational and life-changing. And no parents. We just get to stay up till 1 in the morning. And no parents, just chaperones. Did I mention no parents? Thank you, Ben. Don, you are a recipient of a Habitat house. How does it feel to have your first home? I can't tell you how great it feels. I never thought I'd be able to afford my own home. But thanks to Habitat and the wonderful volunteers, I am buying my own home. They even taught me the skills as we were building to do easy repairs myself in the future. That's why I'm so excited to come here tonight and talk to you. That's all from Shantytown. This is Sally Field, WWJD Channel 3, getting ready to build my cardboard castle. Come on!